Hi and welcome back. So now we're into the second part of the course. This is lesson two. So in lesson two it's kind of it's broken down into a few sections and this part is more on the setting up of your account. So we're not going to cover off any theory here like we did in module one or lesson one. We're going to cover off um, setting up some accounts because you're going to need these accounts for when you go and actually set up the machine. So I'll just walk you through the um, steps we need to go through. Now the very first thing you need to do is you're going to need a Gmail account. Now the way that Google set up is that um, you have to have an account and everything you do in Google is basically linked to this account and it's linked to your Gmail account. Now for this uh, course what we're going to do is we're not going to focus on AdWords we're going to be moving over here to the left and working in Google AdWords Express. Now the reason why I'm using this is because it's very very simple to use and there's no you don't need to have any understanding of the analytical data that backtracks into um, AdWords and um, reads where your um, data is coming from or even having any understanding of how to set up AdWords and how to set up um, campaigns and how to set up um, yeah well but basically AdWords is a lot more of there's a lot more detail and a lot more structured process in setting up an account and you've really got to know what you're doing in fact they've actually got special certificates and courses for people to go on to learn it so the AdWords Express module over here is very, very straightforward. So let's get on to how we set it up. Now the first thing I want you to do is to go to google.com, www.google.com and go up, well google.com or even just type in gmail.com, doesn't matter, both go to the same place. And what you're looking for is here, create an account. So go into there and just basically create an account and you'll come to this section here. So you'll notice here I've got Jack and Jewel Pest Control and it will come up with your username and at Gmail. Now if it's not available it will come up and tell you straight away. So there's no worries about it not being available because if it is, it is and if it's not, it's not. So it will come up and tell you straight away, whoops, if um, it's available and give you a welcome message like this. Very, very straightforward. So once you've done that, uh, continue into Gmail, and then what I want you to do is, so, well that basically that's it. So the, there's your Gmail account, it's, it's very simple and very, very straightforward. So what I want you to do next is um, go to this little icon up the top, icon up the top here, that little cog wheel, and I want you to click on it, and I want you to go to this section here called forwarding pop and IMAP. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm wanting to set up um, now you only need to do this if you've got a existing email account that you use. Now, now I presume most of you do. So say for example you've got a family email account that you use all the time for your business or you may have a business account that you use and, and, and you just want to stick to it. So for the purpose of this just say for example you had Jack and Jill uh, Pest Control. You might have J and J, uh, J and J, J at, J and J at, you know, uh, extra.co.nz or extra.com.au or whatever your email address is, that's fine, you can hold on to that, but set up a Gmail account that's got a similar name, so it's like Jack and Jill Pest Control at gmail.com. So what we're going to do is we're going to forward all the, all the data that comes out of here to your actual account that you use at the moment. So just click on the forward button and then what I want you to do in here is then type in the email address that you want to use. Okay, the one you want to use. So the one that you use mostly, type it in here and then click next and then what will happen is a confirmation code will be sent to that email address. So all you do is go to that uh, particular um, email address that you've chosen and in there there will be a little code, type it in to the uh, verification section which will be in here and hit OK and it's done. That's basically it. Now 
what you need to do is then click this button here and put enable forwarding copy of all email and what I want you to do down here is put keep Gmail's copy in the box. So what it's going to do is it's going to forward you the email but it'll leave a copy in here. It's really important. But you are going to need a Gmail account so if you haven't got one that's what you'd need to do. So go ahead and do that and then what we'll do is we'll move on to the next video. Thanks.